740. The Fan. They've got it separated well, and there is Mr. Hoffman. Pretty good kick at the finish line, nonetheless. Yep. Two, uh, around 228 and a couple of seconds, give or take, is where he finished it, and he is very, very weak need. Uh, he's got first aid with him uh, and struggling a little bit, and I think right now he'd just as soon not have anybody with a TV camera on him. You're live on uh, KFGO and also 740 to fan. Congratulations. Uh, reflect on your first trip to the United States and this win today. It was really tough, but a nice trip. So winning is every time nice, but the wind was so hard today. 222 was the, the goal, but the wind was too hard. So I slowed down a little bit in the second half. It was not possible to run 222 today. Were you challenged much during the course of this race by any other competitors? Oh, no. No other competitors. <laughs> no. I had a, a Kenyan. We started together, but after one mile, I was alone the whole race. Tell us why you chose the Fargo Marathon as your first uh, marathon in the United States. A uh, friend was running last year here. He was number five, and he said it's a good course, very flat, good field, and I think this is an awesome race. I never saw a race like this in a, in a small city, like 100,000 people. It's awesome. So many people. It's a very good race. Tell us more about how you felt today running through the streets of Fargo and seeing the crowds and the music and the parties that were going on and those folks encouraging you on. It was really motivation. After 20 miles, I was completely dead. And then the crowd was really motivating me. So they helped me to finish. Moorhead, Minnesota, Lisa Dyer just became the winner of the Shields Fargo Marathon. And 245.18, which would establish a new personal record for Lisa if that is the official time. Her uh, personal best coming into this race was 247. A very local flavor here winning the Fargo Marathon. Uh, what's this mean to you being a resident of this metro area to win this race? It was a lot of fun. Um, I've done the half the last few years, and I thought I never thought I would really want to do the full because train on the streets, you know, all the time. But it was great. I mean, tons of people cheering. Everyone knew my name, and it was a lot of fun. Walk us through your race today, your personal race, your strategy. I was really just kind of going with the flow. I mean, in the full marathon, you just kind of got to take what you're given, and felt pretty good the last... Last six miles were kind of rough, but it was good. I helped get the last six miles won the wind when you ran into the wind. I would have meant. Yep, yeah, yeah, that was it was pretty strong from the west, but it was okay. Personal record today, two forty-five thirteen. Uh, talk about establishing that record today as well. Your PR. It felt good. Uh, I felt like I was in shape to do it last September. I was trying to qualify for the trials and just didn't all come together. So. It was, it's really nice to have the training validated a little bit. And again, to, to run down this tunnel here in, in, in your home cities to win, what did that mean for you today? It was great. <laughs> Got a little choked up, but it was, it was good. It was exciting. 740. The Fan.